Oh, why does this have to happen to us every time something good is going? Something always has to ruin it all the time. This is horrible. This is bad. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay. Tight end Tyree Jackson fractured his back from landing, I guess, jumping up, catching the football, landing on his back. I guess he's out eight to ten weeks. No surgery required. This is an injury where you just have to let it heal. Um, no, unfortunate, but it's going to be out eight to 10 weeks. The Eagles, I don't know what they should do here. They have to try and put him on IR. They, they have to try and do it. If he's out for two months, he's out for two months. It is what it is. So if you do that, that means he can't practice. Obviously. I wouldn't expect him to practice with a fractured back anyway. Okay. The guy's not going to be able to do much of anything for two months. So what I would do is put him on IR. Do not do not have him practice. And then when the time is right, I don't know. Then you do something later on or keep on IR the whole entire year. I don't know what you do here. Since this is happening now, um... Don't know what's happening with Zach Ertz still. Do you still bring in? Do you still try to develop another third string tight end like Jason Kroom, Jack Stahl, Caleb Wilson, you know, Hakeem Butler, somebody like that? I don't know. Um, we're going to see more playing time, obviously, this, uh, you know, tomorrow night. We're going to see more playing time from another tight end tomorrow. So, see who gets more of a chance here. But this is unfortunate, guys. Like, Tyree Jackson was coming into his own with this position. New position at tight end. He was just running away with it. And we were going to ask, you know, do as much as we possibly can to keep him on this roster. I'm begging for the Eagles to keep him on this roster. Um, but nothing's really happened yet. He's hurt, but the Eagles haven't done nothing yet with him. I would put him on IR. You know, these things happen. These back fractures do happen with guys that, you know, jump for those balls and they come down, um, you know, they come down their back and this is what happens. Uh, you know, if Zach Ertz is still here, most likely. So I don't know what the case is. Um, if they're still keeping three tight ends, most likely, probably. They're probably going to keep the three that are already here and Richard Rodgers, Dallas Goddard, Zach Ertz, probably all going to be here regardless. Um, this is just unfortunate. Like, this was like... We just talked good things about him the other day on the stream, and then this happens. You know what I mean? It stinks. It stinks when this happens. And, uh, you know, I bet he was really excited. And uh, he was looking like a top-notch. He was looking like he was coming into his own at the position. Like, I know he was still learning. He looked like he was still learning. But he was learning. But obviously, whatever the coaches are telling him to do, it's working. And, you know, his play, his skill level is working with it, you know, adding it all together. But it's unfortunate. So, two months, you know, it's, it's not like it's the whole year. It's two months. Wait it out a little bit. And then, you know, see what you do afterwards. I mean, this is horrible. I want, you know, I want to, I want to develop a third string tight end. That's what I wanted because I was hoping he was going to be healthy. He was going to play better this, you know, tomorrow night. And then, you know, Richard Rodgers hopefully gets cut later on. Not saying Richard Rodgers is a bad player, but I want to develop another tight end. I want to develop a new guy, um, especially a guy who used to be a quarterback that turned to a receiver and now turned to a tight end, which is crazy. So hopefully the Eagles keep an IR, which means he can't practice. Not like he has a broken hand or something like that where he can still run or he can still do stuff. He can't do anything with a, with a fractured back. Can't do anything. So really, like... He needs to heal up for two months. That's what he's got to do. Um, and then, you know, see what the Eagles want to do later on. But they should put him on IR. I would not put him on practice squad. I would not put him on IR than practice squad. Whatever they want to do, <clears throat> I don't know. But uh should be very interesting what happens here. should be very interesting. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know, guys know what you guys think. I mean, this is probably a bummer for a lot of people as of right now. Um and that's pretty much it. So uh, we will be streaming tonight, uh, night before the preseason game tomorrow night. Um, I don't know what time, but um, I will have a post up on when we will start. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow us live. Peace out, guys. Peace.